la. Ah, all right. Fifth. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Okay, now who here has read Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham? Me. Mm-hmm. Green Eggs and Ham. Sam now, has. what do Green Eggs and Ham and Shifty, uh, sorry, Shifty, <laughs> Shifty, Shifty Shades. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Shifty Shades of Grey, yeah. That's yeah. actually a good parody title if someone wants to go through the trouble of writing it. Anyway, what do Green Eggs and Ham and Fifty Shades of Grey have in common? Hmm. They both encourage people who can barely read to try new things. <laughs> okay, now this one, this is a story about a kid who's a real little bastard pulling practical jokes. And I've actually heard of someone pulling, actually doing this. This is, uh, all right, now, a boss wonders why one of his most valued employees was missing. Hmm. It did not phone in sick. He had an urgent problem with one of the main computers, so he dials the employee's phone number and was greeted with a child's whisper, being very quiet. Oh? Is your daddy home? Asked the boss. Little boy, little voice goes, yes. May I talk with him? Asked the boss. Child goes, no. Well, surprised wanting to talk with an adult, the, bo- the boss asked, uh, is your mommy there? Yes. May I talk with her? And the little voice goes, no. Well, hoping there was somebody with whom he could he message. The, bo- so well. yeah, the boss asks, is anybody else there? Yes. And, the, and uh, so the a policeman, wondering hmm. what a cop was doing in his employee's home, the boss asks, well, may I speak with the policeman? And the little voice goes, no, he's busy. Well, busy doing what? Well, I'm talking to Daddy and Mommy and the fireman. <laughs> well, <laughs> the fireman? What's going to... Well, anyway, growing more worried, he heard a loud noise in the background through the earpiece and the phone. The boss asked, what's that noise? The little voice goes, the copter. What's going on there? Demanded the boss, right? Again, the child whispered, uh, the search team just landed a helicopter. Mm-hmm. And then it says, well, what are they searching for? The little voice goes, me. <laughs> <laughs> Little asshole thought it was funny to go hiding. I've known kids that actually did this, by the way. Mm. So, anyway, with that, we're going to head things off to Braden. So, Braden, get up here and make a slap, please. Hooray for Braden! Yay, Braden! Yay, Braden! Yay. I almost forgot I had to stand up. <laughs> uh, hey, let me go up here. Dude's getting seen yeah. Hey guys, how you guys doing tonight? Yeah, oh, we're yeah. doing great. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do um, it's kind of like old school stuff, uh, but like uh, you know, Mitch Hedberg, right? Everybody loves Mitch Hedberg. I love oh, yeah. Mitch. Hedberg. Oh, Mitch Hedberg, he's one of my okay. favorites. Okay, so I uh, I uh, I had an apartment and I had a neighbor, and whenever he would knock on my wall, I knew he wanted me to turn my music down. But it kind of made me angry because, you know, I like loud music. So when he knocked on my wall, I'd mess with his head. I'd say, go around. I cannot open the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have a door on your side, but over here, there's nothing. <laughs> no door. Um, okay, so I went to the store and I bought some, I bought eight apples. And the clerk said, do you want me to put them in a bag? And I said, oh, no, man. I juggle. (laughs) 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 I can only juggle eight. If I'm I'm ever buying nine apples, bag them up. You know, just just (laughs) because. You always bite. So uh, I bought a donut, and they gave me a receipt for the donut. And I don't need a receipt for a donut. Um, I'll yeah. just give you the money and you give me the donut. Like, yeah. that's the end of the transaction. Oh, you got to have <laughs> proof of purchase. Yeah, oh, we don't, we, you. you don't need to bring me ink. You really don't need to bring ink and paper into this. It's like a waste of <laughs> waste of a lot of time. I just, you know, I can't imagine a scenario where I would have to prove that I bought a donut. This is some, <laughs> like, I have a skeptic friend who's like, I don't, don't even act like I didn't get that donut. I'm like, I got the documentation right here. Oh, wait, <laughs> Sorry, that was my meth head neighbor. Sorry. Really? That was Were real? they shooting a gun? 
Yeah, shooting so guns. Like, really? That's what I it thought that like was God. somebody's gesture. They offered my neighbor some meth. He goes, do you want to do some meth? Oh, and my God. neighbor told him to go home, and he's out there shooting a gun. This is better than my comedy. I want to hear the story. That's all there is to it. Get up there. Oh, oh man. man. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, so a severed foot is like the ultimate stocking stuffer, right? You know, <laughs> like I'm not addicted to gambling, although I'm addicted to sitting in a semicircle. <laughs> <laughs> they call it corn on the cob. They call it corn on the cob, right? But that's how it comes out of the ground, man. Like, they should call that corn. And they should call <laughs> everything else like corn off the cob. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not like you oh, cut man. off my arm and you'd be like, oh man, your arm, bro. And I'm like, then I retract it. I'm like, yo, it's just me all together. By the way, let right. me crack open a beer. Let's party. Oh, nice. Now I got to go get one. Oh. Did oh, you bring man. it up for everybody? Um, yeah. I did not. Um, but I will promise that I brought enough weed for everyone. <laughs> so Woo! after party's out back. Um, I used to do, <laughs> I can't ever read this without laughing. I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Hedberg, man, you gotta love him, you gotta love him. So, um, I hope the next time I move, I get, uh, like, a real easy phone number. You know, something that's real easy to remember, something like 222222. Two, 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 two. <laughs> and I would say, sweet. And then people would say, Braden, how do you, how do I get a hold of you? And I'd say, just press two for a while. And when I answer, <laughs> you will know you have pressed two enough. <laughs> <laughs> how much time do I have? Like, like a minute or two? Oh, you got plenty of time. Don't worry Keep about going. it. Keep okay. Going. All right. So my, my, room, my roommate said to me, he said, I'm going to go shave and use the shower. Does anyone need to use the bathroom? It's like some weird ass quiz where he reveals the answer first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. All right. All right. So I um, get a beer. I gotta get a beer. Slow it up a little bit. I don't want to miss anything. He <laughs> <laughs> can't. Uh, well, I have to entertain the rest of the folks now. But yeah. this is this yeah. is what my friend said to me. He said, uh, "You know what I like? Mashed potatoes." It's like, dude. You gotta give me time to guess. If you're gonna quiz me, you at least have to sort of pause first. You can't just say the answer. Before I already guess. That's so goofy. Yeah. Alright, so um a guy told me he liked cherries, but I waited to see if he was gonna say tomato before I realized he likes cherries. But the joke is ridiculous. It's like a it's like a carbon copy of the previous joke but with different ingredients. Hmm. I don't know what I was trying to pull off here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's the actual joke, by the way. <laughs> That's the actual joke. I don't know what's trying to pull off, but uh, here we are, guys. All right. Um. So last week I helped my friend uh, stay put. I mean that makes sense right now in the times we're living, right? Everyone's in like quarantine. We're all going crazy. Mm -hmm. We all want to go out, eat, like, dinner somewhere, but we can't. So we just have to stay here. Um, but, you know, last week I helped, I helped my friends stay put. You know, it's a lot easier uh, helping him move. You know, I just uh, went over to his house and made sure that he start to load shit into his truck without me. And that's how you helped your friend. But if you really want to be funny, okay. So, all right, I feel like the gas just came out the room <laughs> real quick. I feel okay, like I'm crashing. Yeah, all right, all right, I feel like I'm crashing. Okay, okay. So on on a traffic light, green means go, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And yellow means yield. Uh-huh. But right. on a banana, <laughs> it's just the opposite. <laughs> green means hold on, yellow means go ahead, and red means where the fuck did you get a red banana at? <laughs> 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 like, am I good or do I need to like step off or what? Like, no, you're, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, you're good. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, my friend said to me, he said, I think the weather's trippy. And I said, nah, man, not the weather is trippy. Perhaps it is 
the way we perceive that makes the weather indeed trippy. And then I thought, man, I should have just said, yeah. <laughs> just said, yeah. A lot of work I put in there, you know? <laughs> Yo, I dressed up for a CD one time. No, okay, I think Pringles, uh, the original attention was to make tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> they made it wet. They should have stuck to that. Yeah. <laughs> those tin, those cans, yeah. No, but on the day the rubber that was supposed to show up, a truckload of potatoes came, and Pringles is like the laid back company. So, they're like, hey, man, fuck it, cut them up. Cut them in. There we go. <laughs> That's the thing. Woo. <laughs> Yo. Um, okay, when you buy a box of Ritz crackers, on the back of the box, they have all these suggestions as to what to put on top of a Ritz. <laughs> Try them with turkey. Try them with cheese. Try them with peanut butter. But I like crackers, man. That's why I bought them. Because, like, I like crackers. I don't see a suggestion to put on a Ritz on top of a Ritz. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't buy them because they're a little edible plate. <laughs> yeah. I've got no faith in the product, man. <laughs> faith. Love risk. Love risk. Okay, so I'm against picketing, but I don't know how to show it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna. I was going to go down. Oh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was going down the street and with my friend, and he said, "I hear music," as if there's any other way you could take it in. It's like, you're not special. Like, that's how I receive it, too. I tried to taste it, but it didn't work. <sighs> no. Oh, okay. Because you're going to have to hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. My lucky number is 4 billion. This goes out to the all the uh, fucking broke people in the crowd tonight. That's <laughs> okay. you, Randy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my lucky number is 4 billion. But that doesn't come in real handy when you're gambling, you know what I'm saying? Because come on, four billion, buck seven, <laughs> not even close. It's like yeah. I need some, I need some, <laughs> I need some more dice. Four billion <laughs> divided by six, at least. Shit, snake eyes. I said snake eyes. That's a gambling term, or it's an animal term too. Um, <laughs> one time, this guy handed me a picture of him, and he said, "Here's a picture of me when I was younger." But, like, every picture of you is you when you were younger. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And so I was like, I was like, okay, all right, how'd you pull that off? Uh, all right, let me see that camera. What does it look like? Either it's a time travel machine, what we're doing here. Um, yeah. Sometimes I, uh, I wave to people. I don't know. It's a, it's a very dangerous thing to do to wave to someone you don't know. Because, like, what if they don't have a hand? <laughs> like, yeah. What if you wave at them and they can't wave? Oh yeah. dear! <laughs> like they'll think you're you're cocky. They'll be like, "Oh, look at this motherfucker." Thing's <laughs> useful. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm gonna go pick something up. Shit! All right, all right. Um, I've always uh, wanted a, a suitcase handcuffed to my wrist. <laughs> all right, l wait, wait. Let me finish. <laughs> All right, if Karis got you drunk, rabbits would be fucked up, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I wrote a script, and I gave it to a guy who reads scripts, and he, he read it, and he said, uh, I really like it, but uh, you need to rewrite it. And I said, fuck that. I'll just make a copy. <laughs> uh, 